tell you guys. So I just pulled my all-purpose flour out of the freezer, it's a five-pound bag. I've had this in the freezer, truthfully, for about a month now. Uh, the reason I freeze my flour and why you should as well is because if there are any weevils or little bugs in there, freezing them will kill it, kill them, and they won't reproduce and get into your uh, flour after you've put it into a container. So you come home from the store and you've got your flour and you just put it on your shelf. Uh, what can happen is, is if there are any weevils in the flour and they're in there. Don't kid yourself. They are in there. Um, I'm going to, for fun, I'm going to attach um, a little spreadsheet and information put out by the FDA or USDA, the U.S. Drug Administration, on how many uh, bug parts are allowable in um, many of the things that we eat. And it's going to freak you out a little bit. Um, so anyway, they're in there. But if, if you um, also have, let's say you have some uh, rice or something and you've frozen it and they're not in there, if you bring in like this bag of flour, put it on the shelf, those little weevils will get out and they'll get into your rice and they'll get into your oats and they'll get into your bisquick. Um, they just spread everywhere. So what I'm doing here is I'm sifting, right, obviously. This has a double or a triple mesh on here. I'm sifting. And the reason I'm sifting is because any weevil parts that are left in this rice, or rice in this flour, will be left in the sieve. And uh, they won't be in my flour. Uh, now that they're dead, they're dead. So it would just be added protein. And chances are, if you're not looking for them, you're not going to find them. Um, but I'm going to just do this really quick. It'll be interesting to see if we can see any. I mean, the eggs are teeny tiny. So with the naked eye, we probably won't. So this is something I highly suggest you do. I think um, most... Uh, cooks that have been around a while will do something similar to this. So I'm going to put it through this bowl look and uh, look in here for things and keep going back and forth and then I'll put it into this airtight container with a tight fitting uh, plastic lid. Um, but yeah, I'll go through it and we'll see if we find anything um, while we're doing it. I should also mention you might be tempted to use one of these old flour sifters where you go through and this pushes the flour through. But if you do that, you're just going to push any weevil parts right through the screen into the flour. So that kind of defeats the purpose. Isn't that a cute one? That's my grandma's. Plenty of the things we take when people, she actually moved into a nursing home and let us take just about everything we wanted. So anyway, cherries. <laughs> 